Israeli warplanes overnight struck a Hamas rocket launcher and a weapons factory in the Gaza Strip in response to another wave of arson balloon attacks launched by terrorists into Israel. The IDF says they hit sites used by Hamas to manufacture weapons. Balloon attacks have been continuing intermittently over the last three weeks, causing extensive damage to farmlands and fields across southern Israel. With us now is IDF Reserve's Major General Eitan Dangot, former co uh, coordinator of the government activities in the Palestinian territories, the head of COGAT. General, thank you for being with me. Thank Today, you. Israel's Prime Minister uh, Naftali Bennett said things have changed. The calculus has changed, that we will now equate these uh, incendiary balloons, and that is a reason to attack Gaza. But are the attacks effective? Are they actually doing anything for deterrence against these incendiary attacks? I think that we have to start to say that the policy has changed. And under the policy, there is some uh, conditions that Israel made, and I support it. One of them that none of any kind of terror attack, doesn't matter, rockets, balloon, due defense or other way of system, will have to be uh, replied back targeting or by strike, in my opinion, what was done till now is only a statement. Israel has to calculate very careful. We are only in a ceasefire. And under a ceasefire on one hand, on the other hand, there is the negotiation. We will leave it now on the side. Israel even has to increase its wealth system to react against like balloons otherwise and to use other tools because yeah. Hamas has to understand the game has changed, the rules of the game has been changed. And now what we are looking about is on one end to make it sure under the ceasefire Hamas has to pay attention to the fact that they have a lot of a loss of price for them for itself, whether they continue. Even the opposition toward Jerusalem has been now going very decreasing, uh, very rapidly down. The opinion of Hamas now about the problems they are facing with the population, with what they need, has to stop very uh, clear. The attack, on the other end, Israel conditions for the negotiation also is very clear of change, and this is a great test for Israel. Well, Whether... what, do you think, what do you think that should be? I mean, a few weeks ago, in response to rockets, Israel took down buildings. They took down entire high-rise buildings. They killed commandos and terrorists in their beds, in their cars. So if a, the balloon attacks in response, the IDF is hitting buildings, and but there, there's no... No the, one's being killed. Terrorists aren't being uh, uh, cornered. Yes, you're right, but it's not mathematics. You have to bring to the knowledge of the other side that the game, the rules of the games, as I said, has been changed. And what does it mean? We will not use only a way of one respond. We will do it without expecting us to do it. We have to use, as I said, another tools. We have to punish who has to be punished. And on the other hand, we give time to the other side to learn, to study, to talk with its friends, like the Egyptian or the others, to understand its position. So, but the main clear and the main important thing is that Israel will go very straight on its new policy, will not give up. It's a very sensitive time on this junction to make it clear to Hamas. On the other end, for the negotiation, for rebuild again, uh, for in infrastructure in uh, Gaza, and make another kind of supporting, Hamas has to return back the Israeli two soldiers, the illegal prisoners, has to stop terror, has to stop buying, building its terror uh, units and producing rockets. Instead of it, there is a lot to do in Gaza, and Israel will be supporter, but Hamas has to decide. Terror organization as it is now, there is no change, or moving and respecting even only ceasefire for a time that will be decided.